Just initially, my thought was that I was happy for Coach Williams that he was able to uh, make this decision and, and retire when he felt like it was the time to retire. I think he's earned that with what he's done uh, during his time at Carolina, before that at Kansas, and before that at the high school level. You know, he's he's earned the right to make this choice, and so I was excited for him that that he felt like it was the time to do it, and now it's the time to step away. I was really sad for Carolina because not only are they losing an unbelievable basketball coach, but they're losing a, an ambassador uh, to the university or uh, for the University of North Carolina and everything that he means to this place in total. So um, gosh, just a, a difficult day in total if you're a Tar Heel, but at the core of it, you're just so thankful uh, for what Roy Williams has done for Carolina and for Carolina basketball. That's hard to answer if it was a surprise or not. I mean, I certainly, you know, Coach Williams has said for several years now that, you know, in the next 10 years or so that he thought it was going to be about time to step away, but you never know when the right time is. Um, I do think this was a difficult year for Coach Williams and for a lot of people, not just around Carolina basketball, around athletics in total and society in total. And so I, I think when you're dealing with a lot of those extra things that, that make things more difficult, it certainly does change the landscape a little bit. And, and he has said throughout the year, you know, this year was not as much fun, that it was harder. And, um, you know, I'm sure some of those things weighed into his decision, but he, he, of course, would have to be the person to answer that. I think it's twofold. One, if you're strictly talking about basketball, it's he came back in when Carolina basketball was in a difficult spot and, and he really brought Carolina back to prominence. And the numbers speak for themselves, the championships, the ACC titles, the regular season titles, the tournament titles, all those different things speak for themselves themselves. Um, I think his legacy at Carolina is much larger than that, though, because he did embody so much about what this university is about. He's a North Carolina kid that came from humble beginnings, that came here and worked hard and reached these amazing heights. That's that's the dream story, right? And so um, to me, his legacy is much more about uh, what he has been able to do and what this university is about compared to just wins or losses, which are excellent as well.